Hey guys, today I have a breaststroke progression drill to help remind you to keep high elbows during the pull. It's common for swimmers to either lower their elbows too early, pull their elbows back too far, or reach forward with their arms too deep on the recovery, causing their hands to scoop up. This progression drill will help fix those issues to make your breaststroke a lot faster and more streamlined. This progression has six parts, which is perfect for doing repeat 150s in a short course pool to practice it. You could also do these in a long course pool and just make sure to switch drills at the 25 mark. The first part is hands on your shoulders, so have your elbows high and your chin tucked between your arms. This looks really awkward, but keeping your elbows up is very efficient and much more streamlined than your elbows being down. The great part about these drills is that you can really feel the difference between having your elbows up versus down. When I lower my elbows, as you can tell, I'm not going anywhere. To perfect this first drill, try not to breathe very much so you can focus on keeping your body position level at the surface. Since your head is in between your arms, there isn't enough space to wear a snorkel. Trust me, I tried. Make sure to finish your next kick with a glide, not rushing to start the next kick. The next step is moving your hands to your elbows, while keeping your elbows high and your head down. This time a snorkel works great, so you can focus on a level body position and not worry about lifting your head to breathe. Like the last drill, try lowering your elbows and feel how this small change can make a huge impact on your streamline and speed. Remember to finish your kick completely so you can glide. Then, move your hands out in front, about shoulder width apart, elbows high, and arms just below the surface. Once again, keep your face down with a snorkel if you have one. While keeping your body position level, finish with a strong kick and glide. Lowering my arms for this one was definitely the hardest. I barely went anywhere. And it feels so much faster if you raise your arms back up at the halfway mark. All of these drills should be one continuous motion without moving your elbows. So start with your hands on your shoulders, then shift your hands to your elbows, and then straighten your arms. Next we start swimming, but only a three quarter pull with an extra kick. It's very important to only do a half pull or three quarter pull to remind you to keep your elbows high during the initial catch. After you finish the partial pull and kick, keep your arms out in front like the previous drill and do an extra kick with a glide, focusing on not diving too far down and scooping during the second kick. The fifth step is a full pull with an extra kick. Now that you're doing a full breaststroke pull, it's important to remember what you have learned from the previous drills by getting a strong early catch with high elbows. Once you start the catch, accelerate through the pull, making sure you don't pull your elbows too far back behind your body and follow that up with a strong kick so you can reach forward. Then with your arms straight out in front and your face down, take another strong kick and a glide without diving and scooping your hands up. Finally, the sixth step is to put it all together into regular breaststroke. Even being a breaststroker myself, I noticed right away that my breaststroke felt better after doing this progression. So even if you're a breaststroker, this is a great drill to just remind you about getting a strong catch with high elbows at the beginning of the stroke. Just remember to accelerate your pull all the way through, reach forward with your head down, arms shallow and not scooping up, and finish with a strong kick and glide. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this drill and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.